Hey there. One of the key contributions of online marketplaces like Amazon to D2C brands are the reviews. The reviews that the products receive online are often unfiltered and come directly from the customers. It provides a key insight to the brand that is receiving the reviews as well as the competitive brands to really understand and get into the mind of the customers, their expectations and the shortcomings that they face while trying out different brands of that particular category. Just the very fact that we get this access to the mind of the consumers on a large scale is a powerful tool for a lot of brands who wish to get into a particular market or wish to know better of what their customers are actually thinking. And hence, one question that comes up quite often is how can brands use the competitive reviews on their own products, but more specifically on their competitor products to better understand and improve their own online product listings. So one of the lowest hanging fruits that brands can use is to identify common complaints and issues. If one were to go through the reviews, especially the negative reviews of a lot of the large brands or brands that are market leaders in certain categories, there is a certain theme that you come across as you go through these reviews. There are certain recurring complaints that people may have on that particular product, which may range from packaging issues or product issues or usage issues or even pricing. And that kind of gives an interesting insight for these brands on what the customers consider to be a particular pain point in terms of using that product and can utilize that to improve their own product or listing. The second way is to understand the missing features. Often the complaints range around the fact that a particular product is not fulfilling something that they had expected or something they had wished the product has. For example, if you're selling a cleaning spray, if a lot of reviews relay the fact that the spray is broken or does not work, it means that if you are launching a similar product in that category, one thing that you can highlight in your listing is that your product, the spray in your product is guaranteed or of a better nature um, in terms of all the other products that are available. And you can also use this opportunity to address shortcomings in your own products. For example, if you're selling a product that has a fragrance, for example, um, and if the complaint that is often received by competitors or even your own reviews is that somebody had expected no fragrance to be there, but the product has fragrance, and that is a recurring thing. That means you can make it clearer using the product title, description, or images to make sure that any potential future customers can understand that this product, it does not have fragrance before they make the purchase, lest we risk returns and negative reviews. And this is just one example of the vast possibilities that may come when brands start to really understand and incorporate competitor reviews. The second is understanding customer expectations with positive reviews as you read through a lot of them, you can kind of get a good sense of what customers really appreciate um, so much that they're vocal about the issues, they understand the key strengths that certain brand possesses or even get a better understanding of how customers consider different brands positioned in their mind space. This kind of data you would either have to spend millions to get or you wouldn't get at all. At the same time, using these reviews as a brand owner, you can get ideas on how you can improve your current products or launch new products in certain categories, which may fulfill a certain need based on the reviews that you get. And finally, using all this information, all this data, um, they can essentially help use to improve their own product title and description, make it more clear, make it more simple, make it more succinct. Because as you analyze more reviews, you better understand what the customer really craves for and the what the customer does not care for as it goes. Just to, a few things to keep in mind. Uh, it is a bad idea to copy the content straight from a competitor's Amazon listing because it's against Amazon's TOS. It's best to think of the reviews or the data or the listings as inspirations as opposed to something to copy straight from. And it is also important to note that descriptions need to be well written. Uh, it's not just important for the keywords to be included, but to make sure that the customers who read it better uh, understand it and are able to resonate with it strongly. And it is obviously an ongoing process to ensure that uh, it, is, it is a science and an art and the science piece is making sure keywords are there. The art is making sure you understand and get inside the mind of your consumer. And 
relay the important features of your products to them. We at Xena, we are currently building a tool that is able to analyze vast amounts of reviews for your competitors um, in the, your competitor's listing page and able to get better, give better insights to products in that same category so that they may better connect with the correct right type of audience, reduce returns and able to scale in the ever-evolving Amazon marketplace.